Pisces. Treat me nice, please. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. This is the last video of 2020. Can you believe it, baby? We made it, y'all. We made it. I cannot believe that we've been locked up <laughs> all 2020. But you guys, it is definitely going into a new season. We about to wrap this up. We about to find out what guided blessings and wisdom that Father God has for us uh, for December 2020. Show me the money season for the rest of the show me the money season because it ain't over. It ain't over yet in the name of Jesus. So thank you, God. Uh, for every last one of you guys who have stepped through, who have liked, shared, and subscribed, all my OGs, all my newbies, every last one of you have came through and showed me love at any point in time throughout the duration of me being on YouTube. I want to say big love and shout out to you. I want to thank you so much for coming through. Um, I also want to thank everyone who has been booking the personal and private readings and sending love donations through the cash app through the paypal y'all secretly went ahead and sent some gifts over to me well it ain't a secret no more because i done checked i was being nosy checking my amazon wish list and i see i have some decks coming so thank you guys so much for all of the love and support i cannot wait um we got the edgar Allan poe mystery tarot deck and the cardamancy playing card deck that's coming as as well as I believe the success oracles deck with Oprah Winfrey on it that one I was telling y'all about that I wanted so I thank you guys so much right here we have the law divination vintage keys cardamancy deck she is a youtuber here on YouTube she's a reader please go and check her out and support her page and tell her scorpion red sent y'all over here you guys I'm so happy and I'm so thankful to um, be able to support her page thank you guys for supporting me so I can pass the love on and support other readers here on the YouTube streets so thank you again so Pisces you know um, if they're uh, is anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me if you would like to just send a show of support if these videos resonate and you just want to send a love offering or you know like you guys have been doing donating decks through the Amazon wish list um, you know you guys can feel free to check me out in the description box in this video it gives you the booking price and how to book with me i only do video readings so you can connect with me on um instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com i'll get you all set up on google hangouts it's a free easy app to download the only thing we need to exchange is our email address so my email address is scorpionreds at gmail.com again it's scorpionreds at gmail.com so um, all forms of payment and all of that stuff or donations is all explained in the description and in the about tab. And again, I want to say thank you again for all of the support and love that you guys have been, you know, given throughout the years. So thank you again. Um, as you know, we always want to give praise and thanks to the creator for just bringing us here for, you know, helping us make it throughout the year. So we want to give thanks and acknowledgement. So bow your head with me if you will father god thank you so much for just stepping all through our life this year father god like you've been the reason that we've been able to hold on and keep it through because it's been a tough year for a lot of people but it's been a very blessed year for a lot of people and, and especially for me and i know exactly for you the one that's watching this video right now god has been stepping all up and through your life he's been putting his foot in it this year for y'all you know what i'm saying where it's been a lot of people that were in doubt and a lot of people that were without you were not one of them in the name of jesus so you know father god thank you so much for sticking your foot in it you know what i'm saying like they said they'll just they don't stuff their foot in it yeah you don't stuck your whole leg in it for real father god so we just thank you so much for just like keeping a season father god like we 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 will prepare that we were seasoned for this season in life you know and we just thank you so much for you know providing us with all of the resources you know and giving us the glory because father god they don't know our story they, they don't know how we got to get to the point where we're at right now and and this comfortability in our life they don't know our story they don't know our struggle they don't know how hard we worked and how many nights we prayed and we stayed up talking to you father god they don't understand what we went through what we witnessed what our journey was in the name of jesus so father god just thank you so much for helping us hold on and you just keeping us you know prayed up 
you know, for all of the nights that we stayed up, Father God, and we know that 2021 is going to have many, many blessings ahead, and we claim it. We claim it here, and we claim it every day. We claim victory over our life in the name of Jesus. We say amen. And Father, please give us guidance for uh, December 2020. Show me the money for my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Treat us nice, please. Amen. All right. All right. Yeah, we had to go ahead and get that testimony out there. We had to go ahead and get that testimony out there. Because a lot of people are very, very blessed. They're very, very blessed right now. And we got to thank God for that. We surely do. We put the work in. But, you know, he definitely set the blueprint. He set, the, he, he set it up for us, you know. Because sometimes we got some blessings that just came down from out of nowhere. We just like, you know what? <laughs> I see you, God. I see you. So... We just got to give a shout out to the creator. All right, give me guidance for my Pisces. Oh, Jesus. We got the deceit card that just came out. What's coming? What's going on with that? Tell us what's going on with that. I think Pisces already knows what's going on. The thinking woman. All right. There's some deceit going on and a woman that is thinking. Oh, when I say she's thinking, oh, honey, she is thinking she's thinking it all out because i don't like that energy and i'm watching you bitch oh i'm watching you them red eyes and shit but you ain't been getting no sleep you've been staying up hard trying to figure out how you was about to fuck somebody over with you what 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 look study long study wrong ain't that ain't that what your pops and them told you playing dominoes study long study wrong you should have got some sleep there partner i do not like this little this little what is that? Where is that even coming from? Gracious, it's bothering me. What is this? Rest and rejuvenation. See, that's what we doing. We resting. So, like, why are you up there playing, plotting, and strategizing? Listen, trying to be all up in our shit, okay? Trying to deceive us, trying to manipulate us, trying to be greedy and all of that, you know, nastiness, filthy McNastiness, honey. We just, listen, we are, we don't already peeped you out, baby, and we sleeping, because when you know we protected, we respected. When you know that we are protected, we respected, baby. We sleep and we rest easy. We ain't worried about y'all fuckholes out here and what y'all planning and plotting on us, baby. Shit. You don't have to stay up a couple of days longer to come over and fuck me up, baby. <laughs> okay? Okay? How many of y'all's out there sleeping easy? Resting easy on them hoes? While they out there planning and plotting to figure out how they about to get to your riches and try to get to your stuff and try to bring stress and mayhem to your doorsteps. <laughs> Ciao, bye. You guys get ran over by a freight train, even trying to cross my goddamn path, boy. You better go on somewhere. Listen, the second chakra, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know exactly what I'm feeling. I'm tapping into my feelings, and my energy is saying this is something quite off about this individual. I might be having to pull my world back. I don't know. I'm definitely watching you, though. Listen, the magician in the mirror. Mm. You about to pull out some old school magic, okay? You about to go call your ancestors on them bitches, okay? How many? <laughs> you said about to call your ancestors, okay? <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not call the ancestors. Not call the old school. I'm calling out the old school. So again, you guys, I definitely feel like someone's intuition is like bothering them something really really bad they feel like there's someone in their camp someone that's around their camp someone that's around them energy wise um that they can't trust but i've been watching you i've been peeping you out but i haven't been allowing it to you know bother me enough like intuitively you know, God's been showing me a little secrets, been showing me a little tricks of the trade of how to protect myself and how to watch myself and, you know, keeping me hip on what you've been doing. It's okay. But like I said, study long, study wrong. Study long, study wrong. You know what I'm saying? So listen, because I've been doing a little studying too, but I've been studying a good book. Oh, okay. I don't know what you've been doing. You know what is this? And he got. He got coins falling out of his hand. Ooh. Mm. 
Mm -mm. I kind of just want to go straight into him. I really, really do. He got them coins in his hand, and it looked like he playing with a deck of cards, don't it? What is that that he have in his hand, though? Is this like a card reader or something like that? I don't know why I'm getting that, though. Ooh. What card reader? I know that's a Pisces. I don't even know what sign. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody been watching a particular reader that's a Pisces. Like, somebody else been watching this reader. I'm so sorry because I know that this is something totally different. But I'm picking up on this. It's like a deceitful reader that just be all about, like, the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about the money and playing card tricks and stuff. I don't think that the person is, like, genuine. It's like a very low vibrational, dark energy, like deceitful. But it's like this woman of the light here. Like she's been, she's been watching this person. She's been studying her teaching. And I feel like she's been intuitively going inside about what to do with this energy. Because I feel like this is a very dark and decrepit defeated soul that's over here like this person feels like defeated and it's like they'll be using their energy and their gift and their power for wrongdoing and like be deceiving people be conning people i want to say like be taking people's money it's like some reader that be over on here that's a fucking pisces but i just don't fucking know because I, I don't know any readers uh, signs and stuff. I, like, I don't know their signs. I want to say, like, whoever this woman is, like, an earth angel. I know that this reading just don't took a turn. But there was some other shit that came out. Um, I think it was, like, in the Libra reading, something about, like, fake readers or something like that. Yo, why am I... Okay, anyway, let me just... But I want... I gotta finish this message. I want to say that this woman is like an earth angel, though, like a, a serious earth angel. And I want to say, like, God is, like, giving this person, like, some type of clairvoyant power to just, like, or, like, whatever power it is, like, to just, like, really feel energy, like, on a deep way, like, really has the skills, like, read energy and just like a very very good person and i want to say that the magician in the mirror it's like there's someone that has a gift and that has like opened up a portal to be able to use like light magic to help others and to watch over this person. I really do feel like that. Aside from that. Aside from like tarot. And like spiritual work and stuff like that. Because this very much so has to. Because it's like. She's, they, he sent her to watch you. Because this one's starting to get out of control. It's like you getting. It's like this one is starting to. That darkness is starting to show. And it's like. Other people are starting to see it too. But. There's one earth angel in particular. God got his eyes on you. And that's all I can say. That's all I can say about you. But I'm going to have to sit you aside. Because. <laughs> oh my God. Um, in regards to other things. I definitely feel like there's someone that is stepping away from a deceitful energy. A deceitful situation here. Someone that is not good um you kind of regret even knowing this person and even allowing this person into your camp and they don't carry the same standards the same religion you know it's like not even the same religion you know it's like it's so different it's like i don't even know how i even took the time to know this person but you went on your feeling 
you used your strength with that sacral chakra right there and you used your positive energies to like push through I want to say to separate yourself from this person and I want to say your, your powers are being strengthened and I want to say like you've been given the gift of sight and um I don't want to say like it's like you use like mirror magic or something like that like you may be looking into the mirrors giving self affirmations and things and you may not be realizing that by you looking at yourself through the mirror like that like you may be looking and piercing into your you know what I'm saying like you may be looking and piercing into your into yourself into your other self or something and it's like where Oh, okay, I'm sorry. But I feel like it's like you're looking into the other side of yourself and it's like you're telling your soul like what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like you're here on the earth but telling yourself on the other side like what to do. So you so that you can handle certain things on the other side. If I'm making any sense, I don't know if I'm making any fucking sense. Anyway, clarify the deceit, please. I'm not putting anything else back this time. So whatever come out, that's it, it is what it is. Let's see what we got here. We got the seven of swords. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's like it's a spy. It's like a spy. It's a spy. Like they try and make it seem like they're a good person, but they're not. I want to say if they're watching the industry, y'all, I want to say, y'all, why am I, why am I getting, like, some shit about a fucking freaky ass tarot reader? It's like, this person manipulates wisdom. Like, this person really tries to make themselves seem like they're so good, like they're a good person, and that they follow God. They don't follow God at all. Like, I'm so serious about it. Like, this person is about using spirituality to rip people off and it's still their money like i don't even feel like this person is even a real good card reader like if you really think about it like do the shit that they be really saying be making sense and do it really really resonate with you like really like go back and watch the last reading of whoever you think that this is that did, whoever this message is about um Go back and look at their last reading and, and pay attention. Like, are they making any fucking sense? And what they're saying, did it really resonate with you? Did it seem triggering or low vibrational at any type of way or something like that? Like, have you given this person money or like, and they didn't acknowledge you or it took you months and months and months to get your readings or I don't know. Like, I'm just getting like a scammer, like a con artist of some sort. And it's like, it's just not good, you know? And like this person may be trying to think like, what the fuck am I going to tell these stupid ass motherfuckers? You know what I'm saying? So like this person could have got caught up in some type of scandal like car reading scandal or like they were ripping people off and like they could have done this before like I want to say that they could have gotten caught several times and always find some like little clever ass conniving ass statement for people to put up with their activity so they can keep this shit going but like for real it's all about the coin it's about coin it's about coin this person is like Scammer, scammer, scammer. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I really just, and, and I feel like with the Seven of Swords, it's like intuitively you've already tried to move away from this person and their teachings or whatever they try to say or whatever because you know the truth. You see that Six of Swords right there? You know the truth. That's why, like, that one sword is sitting off to the side. It's like you've been trying to get away from listening to this person. But I want to say this person is going to show their self. 
they're going to come out from being undercover. You know what I'm saying? Like, they think they're a slickster. They think that they're a trickster. But, like, slowly but surely, like, I, I want to say that this person exposes their self by the things that they say and the things that they possibly do online. And in regards to just in general, whoever y'all are dealing with, this person is a mental manipulator. Like, they mentally play fucking games with you. You know, they may be stealing your money. They may be a scammer. They may, you may be getting scammed right now and conned. You may want to like tighten up your security system. You know what I'm saying? Like someone may be trying to set you up for like robbery or a scam or something like that. Because I always get like seven of swords like security systems and things like that. Tighten up your security system because there could be like someone watching you you know what i'm saying someone trying to take something that's yours that's not theirs like they shouldn't be there you got the lovers in the reverse so yeah it may be some type of sex scandal or something It's definitely some type of sex scandal with another lover. And that's why it's like you're trying to figure out what to say. You don't want to seem unarmed. You don't want to seem unmatched. You don't want to seem caught off guard. Like you're really trying to sneak away and come up with the right type of approach where people can't ask you questions. And there's any wiggle room to like move out of the situation so there's definitely a deceitful lover here what's going on we got the star card definitely could be still pouring faith into a situation where there is deceit <laughs> deceit you may need to pay more attention to who you are and what you're praying on and who you like putting your faith into because I don't feel like you should be putting your faith into the situation. I feel like you're being conned and manipulated and this person doesn't love you. This person may just simply be around for a particular benefit. And again, I, I cannot stop but seeing the money and the coins falling out of this man's hand. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's about money. So in regards to in regards to the this reader thing, like this person could be very popular online. This person could be a star. You know, this person could particularly only do love readings and could be have a very, very popular fan base. But this person doesn't love these people. This person doesn't give a fuck about trying to help people repair, heal their life and get away from toxic love. They give a fuck about the money. Period. Bottom line. And this person could be very, very popular online. You got the Queen of Cups. Again, this is a water sign individual. So this could be very much so a Pisces. We're talking about the Pisces here. Like this Queen of Cups, she's like magical. She's very beautiful. You know, like she could be very, very beautiful. Attractive. Like you would never think that, you know, this person could kind of be this way. But this person is extremely manipulative. Knows how to play and manipulate with energies and emotions and things like that. Five of Swords. I'm trying to tell you. This person thinks that this is a battle that anybody that come up against them, that they're going to lose. This person doesn't play for other people to win. This person thinks that they are extremely clever, that you're unmatched, and they're not going to be defeated. They're going to win one way or the other. Um, I feel like this person is extremely treacherous. Like, they can... I don't feel like this is the type of person that wouldn't put it beneath them to manipulate energy to um, get what they want. Um, this person most definitely is a thief. This person is not to be trusted energy wise and especially um, in regards to anything that has to do with any finances. 
um, leaving any information around them, telling them your secrets, telling them anything, giving this person, like you shouldn't give this person any information about you whatsoever. And I would not trust this person with any fucking information. I feel like this person is a scammer. Very much so can have like possible identity theft. Um, they, what the fuck is grand larceny? Um, what the fuck is that? I'm not no criminal. Hey Siri. What is grand larceny? Because I'm not no criminal. I don't know what the fuck that means. Grand Larceny is a 1987 thriller film. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Never mind. Never mind. Never fucking mind. I just, I don't know. I feel like that's like, I feel like that's fucking robbery or some shit like that. Anyway, I'm trying to move the hell on. But I want to say that there's someone. They're more of your they're more of your enemy than they ever were your friend. I feel like they're not someone that should be trusted to be around you. They pretend like they love you, but they don't love you. They only love themselves. They may only be around you for your star power and trying to figure out what they can kind of manipulate and, and get around you with that. They definitely come off very motherly and loving and things like that. Could be someone a little bit older than you or something. Just don't even have to do with being older than you. They just come on very mature. Can most definitely be a mother for sure. So it's like I, that's why I don't feel like you would think that this. They put on a very, very good facade of being like uh, a good person. This person isn't. And I don't feel like they got their popularity in a natural, natural way. Like they could have stole it. They could have did manipulative things to gain their popularity or power or something like that. Like, <laughs> that, I don't know, I don't like that energy over there. Please clarify over here, this thinking woman, the rest of rejuvenation, the second chakra archangel Ariel, the magician in the mirror. I feel like over here, we got the justice card that just came out. So, again, like I told you, like God is watching that shit. There will be balance reinstated. You got the Empress in the reverse. You got the Seven of Pentacles. And then you got the Ace of Wands. So, there's definitely going to be a new plan of action. God does not like the standard in the quality of what is being represented as the Divine Feminine. Do you understand? Like, this is someone who's lazy. This is someone that sits back and waits for activity to come. Because this is like, like I've been trying to tell y'all, like how they've been, how I feel like the whole spiritual community has been trying to train women that it's okay to sit back and wait for some abusive, self-indulgent, narcissist, like, adulterer to come back in their life and fuck up their life even more like that's not true leadership that's not what a real woman is that's not high vibrational that's low vibrational do you understand what i'm saying that makes you look stupid that, that that's not a, a good quality of woman that's not a woman that loves herself that's not what you would want to raise your children to be do you understand so i feel like there's justice and balance that is coming in because like we are reshaping like the standard of like law around certain shit is governed about spirituality in these women because we cannot be teaching our women that it's okay to lay around and allow men to abuse and use on them and you not you don't use spirituality in your gift in that way do you understand so it's time to throw away that notion and reclaim your fame, reclaim your notoriety, reclaim your gift as a woman, as a creator, and pay attention to what you're creating. Do you understand? We're not in a place of creating madness. 
you know so there's going to be balance in regards to the corruption of what people have been doing to the divine feminine because this shit don't make no fucking sense and with this um seven of pentacles right here it seems like god is I want to say been waiting for someone to kind of step up and say something about this because no one has really been doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone has kind of been taking like the stand back and the stand off approach. But it's like God just need just a little bit of people, just a little bit. You see how they said they just break it down just a little bit, just taking a little bit. You know, I'm not telling you to expect you know, use all your resources and try to spread awareness about this, but just take one second of your time to acknowledge and try to promote growth, you know, try to promote hope, try to promote something positive where people are actually like using their skills in a positive way where it's going to, you know, promote fruitfulness. Not dead harvest. You know, are you sitting around waiting on something? Are you being active? Are you really promoting life? Are you really promoting positivity? Are you promoting people just sitting back, wishing on fucking stars and shit and not being active on a goddamn thing in life? No, you got to cut a little bit down and put a little bit out there. You got to put yourself out there. You got to work hard. You got to be patient for your blessings. Do you understand what I'm saying? You can't just be sitting back listening to some bullshit that someone is telling you just so they can gain money up off of you chasing a loveless relationship while they collecting money and, and gaining fame off of y'all's hurt and y'all misery. And every time someone call them out, they're like, oh, you ain't paid for, you know, you ain't give us these readings and shit like that and blah, blah, blah. They coming up with some good excuse for this shit and try to come back all mothering like they giving just to stab you and, and hurt you again like you know like I don't like what I'm getting over here but I definitely feel like there's justice and like there's going to be a new day there's going to be new action the sun like did the, the sun is shining on a lot of these people and I feel like there are a lot of like there's a lot of newness being rebirthed like there's a lot of passionate people that really understand about procreation and happiness and joy and rejuvenation it's like with this empress in the reverse it's like god is trying to send balance and send karmic justice in the system it's like again god's been watching you <laughs> god's been watching you God's been watching you. That's all I'm saying. And he don't like that shit. He don't like that shit at all. This empress is like this. Um, this empress is uncomfortable. Because if you sit back and think about it. How comfortable can you be? How comfortable can you be? With listening to someone. Or, or dealing with treacherous deceitful energy like around you like that shit is just crazy listening to someone that don't mean you know well like for real, for real. and it's like i know when y'all be listening to this shit like y'all just be like i don't know if this shit resonate with me i don't know if i want to do that like it sound good but something in your heart just say no because i know i'm gonna get hurt or no you know what i'm saying it's just something i feel like I had to get cut out for the promotion of the rest of the fruits to grow. Because you know. Um, in certain. I forgot. What is it called in gardening? It's like when you're. Um, it's like you cutting. You, you cutting the bush back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit growing too wild. But when you cut it back. It promotes it to grow a little bit more. You know. Like it's not going to grow outwards. It'll grow up. It'll grow tall. So. When you trim the edges and stuff like that, it does promote new growth. So, like, if you don't have a certain level of skill, you don't know that. You don't know that. Like, I feel like skill, integrity, it's a new look to the situation that is being promoted right now. A new feeling. And then what was this over here? The magician in the mirror. It's like... God is teaching people how to appropriately use their gifts. 
Because if you're really trying to recreate who you are, if you, if you don't feel comfortable, you feel like things are not growing in your life, let me show you how to redesign yourself and to bring happiness into your life. You're never unfertile. You can always, like, boost your fertility. You can always boost your fertile grounds. It says gathering together, massing, covering, unifying, assembling, combining forces. The sum is greater than the parts. Hmm. Hmm. Now what is this? Peace, harmony, balance, perfection, sense of well-being. Favorable conditions, expansion. Hmm. What is this supposed to mean? I was just about to say, what is this supposed to mean? A gathering, like a coming together, the dark and the light? I don't like that shit, though. I don't like that, though. I feel like, because what they're saying is, like, they see each other. They see each other. They see each other. She see this person over here being deceitful. And they see this person over here trying to reshape shit. I feel like there's a crossing. Um, there's certain people crossing over here. And there may be, may be some people crossing over there to see what she talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's like people going to both sides because like she may be preaching the right thing against this type of teaching. And then like, well, who the fuck is she talking about going over there and seeing this dark thing? Like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then like the people over here be like, oh God, I see what, you know, so they might be down in the comments like, oh, I see what so-and-so and so-and-so was talking about. And then, like, the other people that been listening to this bullshit, like, well, who was so-and-so and so? And then they come over here, and they be like, they come over here to the light, be like, oh, oh, I see the light. And look, and then new, beautiful, abundant, blessed shit start coming around, and he's just like, well, hold on, where did all my fans go? Like, I don't know, like, it's some crazy-ass shit. Y'all, what the fuck is going on right here? Because then we about to get the love because I wasn't even expecting. But I, I swear, like, you never know what the hell going to come out. You never know what the fuck is going to come out with these cards, man. Okay, and I got to explain this shit in another way for just people in a relationship. But I am swear, only thing I'm seeing is, like, some crazy-ass fucker reader. On fucking YouTube or some shit. Um, so in regards to just in general, in general here. Gosh, I'm really seeing here that um, you guys have been around a very deceptive person. I think that they're the star. And every time people start figuring them out. They come and it's very nurturing and giving way and try to make it seem like they ain't doing nothing and, and, and that is really all in your mind. You know what I'm saying? That you're crazy and they would never do anything like this and they love you. But deep inside, that's not the situation that's going on over here. And you feel like you're getting played in the fuck you are. You got the seven of swords and the motherfucking um the five of swords right next to you. Like, come on, brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do feel like there's a gathering together and a peace being made here. Like you got to kind of bridge the gap for whatever reason. God feel like you guys got to kind of make peace with each other for whatever reason. It's like a blending of worlds. I don't understand. Um, I definitely feel like justice is ringing through here. You may be changing your technique and the way that you operate with this situation right here because I do feel like it makes you a little bit uncomfortable um you definitely are taking a different approach but whatever it is you're definitely I feel like you shining so hard it's like you blinding these people it's like you 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 can't how could you even see the star through through the sun you know what I'm saying it's like I'm I'm not even trying to uh outdo you or anything like that you know it's that 
And I still, and I'm still going back to, I don't know how to explain it any other type of way, bruh. Because that's the only way that I'm seeing this. Unless there's a situation where, um, and I don't want to say that neither. Let me see. I think your woman with the rest and rejuvenate the sacral chakra and the magician in the mirror. So again, I definitely feel like there's someone that was watching a deceitful person. They've been taking some time to sit back and think about how they're going to deal with the situation, but they're not worried about it. With that five of swords right there, they see this person for who they are, and they know that this person plans on them to lose, and they're going to say whatever they need to say to get whatever they're trying to get out of the situation. So you already seen this person coming. That's why you've been sitting, you've been sitting back, studying, and maybe crossing over and looking into the dark arts or whatever the fuck type of weird ass shit that this person be into because it's like some weird scandalous shit it's like you can't understand how to maneuver around them if you don't understand them and what they're doing so i feel like intuitively you've been getting some downloads of how to approach the situation and again i feel like the magician in the mirror you've been given like a gift of sight You've been given a gift of sight. You see this person's approach and how they try to outsmart you and manipulate you. So that's why I don't feel like you allow them to do that to you anymore. I really don't. With this justice here, I definitely feel like you are... Um, you're assembling yourself in a way where, again... You are probably changing your outer appearance and like stepping yourself up a little bit um, where you're not so outdated so they can see the change. They can't come at you in the way that you are or, or the way that you were anymore because I definitely feel like there's a new day here. Um, you are going to see the sunshine. You're going to see the victory. You're going to receive the justice from this situation. Um... And you're going to find a way to work things out with the seven of pentacles. This is like someone putting the work in, someone doing whatever they need to do to bridge their gap to see success out of a situation. Because you see this person for who they are, but for whatever reason, God wants you to like bridge a gap and find peace in this situation for whatever reason. The two of stones, what does it say? It's challenge. So these are two people, like again, trying to find balance and to stop fighting with each other in some type of way it's like if you work together there'll be peace amongst everyone for the future or something it's like something about working together like why would we want to work together though why what is this the ace of stones a foundation of light so what the fuck does this have to do with sacred stones though They're saying throughout history, there's always been a battle between the, and there's always been a battle between the dark and the light. There's always been a battle. What? Why? Why am I getting all of this? Like I, like. Uh, It's what creates balance, I guess. Like there's on a battery, there's a negative and a positive. Like it's going to be that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I guess, I guess. But I want to say like that's the way of life. That's the, like that's the balance of creation. A negative and a positive. With this two of with this two of pentacles right here, um, I definitely feel like whoever's in this situation dealing with this deceptive person, you see this person for who they are, you're gonna find a way to um like 
I don't want to say one up the situation. I don't feel like you're trying to one up the situation. You just want to be calm and peace here. And you just want everything to work out. And you just want a certain standard. I feel like there is some violence being placed here. Like things are working itself out. Um, I feel like there's been certain people that came over from the other side over to you to see what you're doing. You've been talking about what they've been doing over there. Some of your people went over there to see that shit and realize that they better off over here. You know? And shit, there's some people that were over here just like, I don't want to be on that Kumbaya shit. I want to be on Ra Ra uh, Freaky Jason shit. So it's like some people that better belonged over here. And there were some people that were over here that better belonged over here. So it's like shit will balance itself out on it. Like people want to be where they want to be. The page of stones. So again, I still feel like you've been given access though to a certain resource, a certain um, practice, a certain study, certain level of education. Um, you got the two of, you got the two of pentacles, the ace of pentacles, and the page of pentacles. So I want to say like people are going to be following in your footsteps like in the future. I want to say that you've been setting some level of like grassroots it's like you've been setting some grassroots for foundation for the future of like correct teaching of balance teaching of teaching people to like find harmony between the good and the bad you know what I'm saying the night and the day like putting that negative energy in the safe box and only taking it out for when you need it like there is a balance purpose for everything but pay attention to everything that you're doing um i definitely feel like you guys are being offered advancements in life especially in regards to financial security and you know i'm feeling lucrative settlements the nine of arrows dedication i like that I like that. I like how the Nine of Arrows is depicted as dedication. Because you know that Nine of Arrows. That's like the Nine of Swords. That's like. Um, not letting certain thoughts subside. It's like staying up all night. Overthinking. Um, not paying attention to everything else. That you're supposed to be doing. Because you're focused on the wrong vision, things that people said, things that people didn't do, and all of this other things like that. This is depicted as dedication, like focusing your aim on like your target. Continuously focus on your practice practices like you're not letting your mind let up. You're not thinking about anything else. It's like your mind could be a madhouse on how dedicated you are on making sure that you're taking the right approach in life and that you're educating people on taking the right direction. It's like you're not going to miss your angle that you're coming at. People are going to understand what you're talking about. You got the mirror in the reverse. So I believe this is the moon in the reverse. So it's like you're not trying to keep any secrets. You want everything to be aired out in the open. I feel like you're exposing. You're exposing certain things about life that people need to know to keep them balanced so that they can hit their target and you know to focus on target practice not repeating the same mistakes not going over the same issues over and over and over again like you can choose a better way in life you can set a better standard if you remain yourself balanced and you remain focused and you keep practicing on your gifts and your purpose. Things will look up for you. You know what I'm saying? Always trust your intuition. And if you don't want negative things to shoot back at you, pay attention to what you shoot now to the universe. That's what I'm getting with that moon right there. Um, pay attention to your vision. You know, pay attention to your thoughts. You know, dedicate your thoughts in the right direction. If you don't want negative resources, 
or negative outcomes in your resources. Have positive thoughts. Dedicate yourself to positivity. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever you stress and you worry about will be mirrored in the energy that's coming to you. So if you want more acceptance, you want more gifts, you want to be more open, you want more positive experiences, then you need to put more positive resources. You need to put more positive energy out there. You can't be deceitful. You can't be foolish like that because you will get the fame and notoriety that you that, that you want to get but at the same time you can't be mad at the same people if that same energy comes back around and stabs you in the back and you fall on your own sword you know what i'm saying and then you're trying to think about what you what you want to say and then it's like you got to keep up that same energy you got to keep up that same calm you got to keep up that same ploy over and over and over and over again you know until you victimized by your own victims boom so it says Greta Garbo. This is in regards to love. I'm sorry. I was too busy venting. Let's get to love, y'all. Because this, this right here is too heavy for me. I just can't with that shit anymore. Okay, it says, are you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? Only go to the altar if you take the lead. Marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life. I don't agree with her. And I feel like that's why she just came in the reverse. I don't believe that you should be teaching people that. Because people really do want love. People do accept love in their life. Like That's like someone over here teaching people that it's okay to be an adulterer or something like that. Or, you know, that being in a third party relationship is okay. And the person is going to come back and continue waiting on them and shit. Like, that's dumb. Like, don't be teaching nobody that shit. Are you sure you wouldn't rather be alone? No, listen... If that's what you want to do with your life, that's you, sweetness. Okay? But everybody don't agree with that. Everyone don't agree with that. Just because you have one negative life experience and love doesn't mean that you need to accept that and not allow. Because it's like this is someone that is shutting love out of their life. They're making this decision to go that way. Only go to the altar if you take the lead. So you only want to go to the offer altar is if you are in control. That's not fair. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is someone that is all about power. And it's not about power sometimes. Sometimes you got to surrender, especially in love. Especially in love. Marriage isn't the only way to have a partner for life. But is that really a partner for life if that's not your husband, if that's not your wife? Like, you don't want the title. So this is someone that is, like, settling for something it's like you're telling yourself that that's what you want but i don't really feel like that's what that person really wants it's like i don't know what happened to her to make her like give up on her life and wanting love like that and wanting to live by herself but like that's sad what is this the four cups in the reverse so the four cups in the reverse is someone that's speaking from a more sober mind right now um I feel like you know, you're more aware of who you are and what you want. Um, it's like you regret not going outside and showing yourself more. You got the Six of Pentacles. Like, you really do want to give yourself a little bit more. You want to put yourself out there. You want to be a little bit more giving and offer help to people. You know, um, you definitely want to... I feel like in... in, in I'm going to tell you why this woman act like that. In the past, it was a conflict. It was a struggle. It was a battle with her fighting, trying to gain focus and the, keep up the momentum in the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the two of pentacles showing as someone being balanced, it's showing as a goddamn challenge. It should never show as a challenge like a the, like the two of pentacles is like a positive card. It shouldn't have been a challenge. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I feel like... In a situation where it should have been a positive love interaction, it was a challenge. And I feel like this person doesn't see love as anything but a challenge. But at the same time, like, are you being too self-absorbed or are you thinking about, you know, other people as well? Like, what if someone really, really was interested in you? Someone really, really loved you? 
So I feel like you need to really sober up and have more sober thoughts and really think about what you want. Because I feel like if you had a situation where someone was as giving and as receiving as you were to them, you would change your mind and you wouldn't have that aspect and that thinking on love and life. Because before you were in a situation where something that should have been balanced, you had a pinnacle, they had a pinnacle, but y'all was too busy arguing and fighting with each other and challenging each other. You know what I'm saying? Listen, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So, you got to decide if you want love, if you really want love. If you don't want love, then, you know, you're not going to get it. Keep talking to yourself like that and you're not going to get it. You're going to fail at every chance. You're going to keep having people in your life that you're going to be giving, 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 giving. And they're going to be taking, 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 taking. And you're going to be giving more than you're receiving. Do you understand? So, like, I really do feel like you need to wake up and you need to sober up and pay more attention to what you're asking for here. So it's like you 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 only want to be in love if you can be in control of the situation. You know? Because you're too scared of someone being in control of you. And that's like... Mm -hmm. Clarify. Child, the King of Pentacles. And then what is this? The Harmony in the Reverse. So I feel like... You just need to get more balanced and pay attention to what you want and what you're saying and what type of energy that you're putting out there. Because, again, I feel like if it was a more balanced situation where you felt like it wasn't people begging um, and needing you. It's like if it was a situation where you're not, like you're completely infused into this situation. Like you want every drip and drop of what they got to offer. Like you're completely satisfied. You are 100% indulged in every single thing that is being offered to you. You are 100% alert and paying attention to everything. Um, because they shower you with gifts. They give you emotional freedom. They give you time. Like they, they give you everything. It's like almost where you're begging for more. If you had a situation like that, trust me. Things would be different. You're looking for a king of pentacles. And the hermit in the reverse. So you want someone that already took that time out. To assess their feelings. What they want. What they see in the future. You want someone that is kind of a homebody. Someone that loves to be at home. Wants to be around family. Loves to procreate. You know. Um, like a man's man. You know, someone that fix things around the house, take out the trash, play football. It's like you want that whole thing. So it's like I'd rather wait for that. It's like I'm putting off this energy right now. Like I don't give a fuck about commitment and about love and I'd rather be single. But I, I, what I'm really saying is like I'd rather wait for that. I want someone that already took their time out and went through their self-evaluation journey. And they're ready to be a strong, loving, and doting man you need to say that then don't don't say that that bullshit that she was talking about over there because otherwise you wouldn't be to you wouldn't be dedicating instead of stressing and worrying and thinking about all of the shit in the past you are dedicating yourself towards the future and taking aim of what you really want so like you wouldn't be putting all of that work in and calling out the liars and the deceivers and 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 you know you wouldn't be doing all of that if you what is this the golden mirror so this is self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing I feel like with that mindset of that Greta Garbo, that's how you will love bombing your relationships. Um, you should just wait. Number one, I want you to sober up and pay attention to what you're saying too, because I don't want you to reject like a positive. Not today. 
Wait, do you not want love or something? I don't. It's like you, I don't, I don't get it. Mm -hmm. What is going on with this thing with Pisces? the runner so y'all are dealing with someone that just like it's like I feel like this person knows what they want but I don't I don't feel like they're willing to put the effort in to substantialize this it's like the way that they talk it's like pushing it away it's like you want this, but you 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 talking it away from yourself. It's like the things that you're saying, and I don't think that this person is paying attention to the things that they're saying and how it comes off and how they are projecting opportunities for themselves. It's not like I mean it's it's still there. Um, but it's just you're pushing it away further and further away like the more and more you are conversing like that to the universe. What is this? The Queen of Swords in the reverse? Like, yeah, this is like... Mm -hmm. It's like this person is mean. Like this person is mean. I don't know, is this the deceitful person over here? I don't know if this is the deceitful person. I feel like, I don't know if this is like the Pisces that knows what they want. And it's like, I'm, I'm offering to this person. I'm coming and I'm showering with gifts, but still I feel rejected. Like things just can't get off of the ground. Like... I'm a good man. I know what I want. Like, I've already made a decision and I'm ready to get the spark back up with life. But this bitch just don't want me. Like, she's cold. She's, like, cutthroat. She's too hard. The ace of... The ace of... The ace of swords in the reverse. And then you got the seven of swords. Look at this motherfucker. Look at his seven of swords. It's like deceitful energy. It's like this. Mm. It's like this person could like being the other woman. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling like. There's someone offering something to this Greta girl um and i don't know like she could be a card reader or something i don't know if it's like i don't know if it's a man that is like trying to offer his love to some woman i just feel like she is on some real low vibrational shit right now she's very cold she's very sneaky I definitely feel like she could be like the other woman. Like she, I feel like she might be somewhere messing up some happy homes. I, I, I really do feel like that. Like this woman is not taking advances from you. She, like she's not telling the truth about who she's becoming. Like I feel like this person is becoming a nasty person. Like, it's okay with sneaking around. The Knight of Wands. The Three of Cups in the reverse. Like, yeah. The Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So, it's like... <sighs> this girl right here... I just... Oh, God. I don't like reading like this. It's... I really do feel like this is like... This is like someone that moves quickly. That moves fast. Maybe dating like a younger dude. 
may only be about sex right now could definitely be lying to you um, about why this person has been taking a long time to accept your offer here. Um, I feel like you could have done everything you were supposed to do to do your growing and all of that. While you've been doing your growing, this person has been doing their hoeing. I feel like this woman is lying to you because she's fucking with some she's fucking with someone else's man. Like, look at that shit. I, and I do want to say this person be trying to play fake spiritual. Maybe popular or something like in some type of social group or some shit like that. But this person don't be like whatever they say that they about. They're the complete opposite of what they portray themselves to be. Like this person is not spiritual at all. Like they their actions is completely opposed it to whatever type of spiritual shit that they be talking about. The three of the three of cups right here, like this person may be socializing too much and not paying attention to their family obligations. Like they could be running around, like could be in and out of the house. You know what I'm saying? Like partying, have it well this came out in the reverse. Cause like the 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 Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that's not being a good mother. Like, not paying attention to their kids, like, always yelling at them, not feeding them on time, not taking care of herself and just making sure that there's a firm, stable environment around her family. Like, she could be too preoccupied with, like, going out and chasing attractive men right now and being, like, the third party side bitch. Being a sneaky little whore in like some other situation. And that's why this person is ice cold and nasty and being so cutting and, you know, destructive towards whatever you got going on with her. Because she'd rather be alone. She'd rather be single right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this person is getting more satisfaction and more gratification in being a side bitch right now. Like, this person is low-key promoting being side bitches. The love is in the reverse. Like, it's like, this, this. <laughs> Child, I'm gone. I'm gone. Bye, Pisces. I'm done.